Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. Today, we are talking about maternity wedding dresses. This video and topic was inspired by a subscriber who left a comment requesting me to create a video on this. Thank you so much for leaving your comment. I am so excited to cover this topic. Before we get into it, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know if there's anything you want me to create a video on. Subscribe to my channel. I am here for you, guiding you along the way leading up to your special day. Maternity wedding dresses. The one thing that I'm going to start with here is that we do not have specific maternity wedding dresses in store. I think that that would actually limit your options. I am gonna go through three scenarios in which we have brides that are typically pregnant or maternity, like maternity style brides that are shopping and what that kind of looks like and the various scenarios and options that we have available for you. And like I said, I wouldn't go specifically looking for a maternity wedding dress. I think that that's going to limit you with the proper alterations and the proper styling team behind you. You can wear any wedding dress while pregnant and have it look absolutely phenomenal. This is also where alterations are completely a make or break, and that is for any dress, not just a maternity wedding dress, but any dress out there. Your alterations make or break your wedding dress. Next week's video is all about alterations and all the details that I want to give you on that. So please be sure to set a reminder. Come back to the channel next Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. There will be an alteration video for you. Let's get into the three scenarios in which maternity wedding dresses kind of fall into play so you have a better understanding of what to expect and how this process works. So the first scenario is a bride who is shopping for her wedding dress. She has a wedding date set. She is actively trying to get pregnant leading up to the wedding day. So you're shopping for the dress. You're not pregnant yet. Your body hasn't changed. How do you navigate those waters? I'm going to cover that for you. The second scenario is a bride who has already purchased her dress and it's on its way in store. It's in production and surprise, you're pregnant. What do you do next? going to give you all the details on that as well. The third scenario is a bride who is currently pregnant and by the time you have your wedding, you will not be pregnant, but you are shopping with the baby bump for the dress that you're going to wear without the baby bump. How do you navigate those waters? Let's take it back to scenario one. You are shopping for your dress. You are actively trying to get pregnant. How do you buy the dress that is going to suit the needs of your body, not knowing how far along you're going to be? So when you're ordering wedding dresses, we go based off of a size chart and we take your bust, waist, and hip measurement. Based on your measurements, we select your sizing. So for example, we would go with the largest measurement first. So let's say you are top heavy. We're going to go based on your bust measurement. We will take in the waist and the hip. Let's say you're bottom heavy. We would go with your hip measurement and take in the bust and the waist. Very rarely is someone completely proportionate from bust, waist, and hip that you fit into a size chart just beautifully aligned into a sizing. I, for one, do not fit into a size that is beautifully aligned. My bust and my waist are aligned for one size, and then my hips bump me up to a bigger size. So I'm a perfect example where I would have to order bigger and tailor down in alterations for it to fit my bust and my waist appropriately. That being said, if we were going based on the largest measurement and there is room for your belly to grow or perhaps your waist is your largest measurement, at that point in time, we would go up multiple sizes where all of us feel comfortable if you were not pregnant that if we size the dress down, it wouldn't lose its integrity of the design and it would still maintain the structure and be equally as beautiful on wedding day. But also just in case you do get pregnant, we have some extra wiggle room within the size of the dress. Other options that are available. Let's hypothetically say that you 
purchase a dress, we order with wiggle room and you're farther along. Our seamstresses are so phenomenal in this area in which we actually take a dress with a zipper, which a lot of dresses could be ordered with a zipper or a corset back that's available to you. Most of the dresses at Lavella, we prefer a zipper and then we can add in a corset. So what we do, and we also do this for brides who are fluctuating in weight. So not even maternity pregnancy, pregnant brides, it's for people who also fluctuate. If you gain weight or lose weight very quickly and abruptly, this is a perfect scenario for you as well. So we leave the zipper and we add in loops alongside the zipper so you can choose to either zip up the dress or do the corset. The beauty of that is that you can release and expand it or tighten it if you want to feel more secure or if you want to be able to breathe, you loosen it. So, so many options that are available in the alterations department. This is where it makes or breaks you. I recently had a bride who purchased a dress and was actively trying to get pregnant and she ended up being five months pregnant at the time of wearing the dress and the sizing and the guesstimate that we did based on her body measurements, the dress ended up fitting her perfectly and it looked amazing. Scenario two, surprise, you are pregnant, you've already bought your dress and what do you do next? Well, just as I discussed before in terms of the alteration, all of that is available to you. We can do a corset back. We could even create, we can cut it into a lower back so that it just, the fabric shifts forward and expands for the belly. There are so many options and alterations that we can make happen. If for some reason, after you meet with your alteration team and it is not a viable option to be using the dress in which you've purchased, at that point in time, I would highly recommend that you do not alter it, leave it as is, sell the dress online on the resale market and purchase a new dress that accommodates your measurements and your shape and that you feel beautiful and confident in for your wedding day. Scenario number three, you are currently pregnant and you are planning your wedding. What do you do? How do you shop with a baby bump and ensure that you're going to love a dress once you have your baby and you're not trying it on with the bump? Would you maybe even go with another dress if you didn't have the bump? These are all the things that are going through our brides' minds as they are shopping for the dress in this scenario. Here's what I say to any bride who is unsure of her body, maybe because of weight gain or sometimes weight loss where people are trying to gain weight, vice versa. There's so many different components of this. And for example, also being pregnant, right? As we're talking about, your body isn't what you want it to be for wedding day. What I tell everyone is if you love a dress on you, when you are not the most confident in your body, you are going to love that dress that much more when you are at your goal weight post postpartum or whatever the scenario may be. So I say go for it. Try on the dresses. If you love it with the baby bump, you're going to love it that much more without the baby bump. The sooner you get in store, the better better it is for you because obviously you're less far along within your pregnancy. I hope that this video was helpful. I will see you in next week's video. Thank you so much for tuning in.